Taiwan is one of the most convenient places in the world, at least if you go by the number of convenience stores. Even in smaller communities, which can't support a store all the time, the mobile convenience store is becoming more and more common. Today, let's take a trip around some of the convenient vans and even convenience store containers dotted around the country. We drive down a little back road dotted with small dormitories of iron sheeting. But hold up, what was that? Rewind a moment and you spot a very familiar convenience store located in, of all places, a roadside van. Shizidao is a special and rather isolated area in Taipei. It sits in the middle of the Jilong and Danshui rivers. It's so cut off that it had no convenience stores until recently. Local residents have to travel several kilometers for basic services and groceries. But this chain finally spotted the niche and launched this mobile convenience store, which opens at the same time and place each day, just like a brick and mortar store. We had no way to pay our bills, so this seems really handy here. It's more convenient for groceries too. You can order goods and services from here too. I just wish they did ice cream. They sell stuff like biscuits and coffee. Actually, the coffee here is very popular. The van is stocked full of everyday essentials and health supplies like face masks. You can heat food in the microwave and pay your bills, a real lifesaver. Uni President has launched mobile store vans in remote parts of Hualien and Taidong. OK Mart is in the game too, with mobile stores and health stations. PX Mart has a mobile van which brings the most important groceries to underserved locations. And High Life has a container store in a bridge under Chongqing Bridge in New Taipei. Made of free containers, it works like a flea market. If a typhoon is coming, it can come down in a jiffy. Taiwan's convenience stores only continue to multiply, and Taiwan already has the second highest density of convenience stores of any country in the world. Even for remoter communities that can't support a store full-time, these mobile stores can provide some vital services.